Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardener. I hope you guys are doing fine and are safe at home. So guys, today's topic is Farina and we're going to talk, be talking about what exactly is Farina. Now, a lot of people who have been keeping succulents for quite some time are well aware about it. But this is for people who are going to keep succulents in future or are just starting with keeping succulents. So it's very important to understand what exactly is Farina. So guys, Farina is basically a white powdery coating. Uh, it could even be a silvery film or it could even be a white waxy coating that naturally appears on succulents. Now guys, not all succulents have uh, Farina. There are only a couple of varieties of succulents that uh, display Farina on their leaves, which absolutely looks beautiful. So guys, I wanted to make a detailed video about Farina and what exactly it is. Now guys, a lot of people do get confused uh, for Farina with mold or fungus. There have been people who have cleaned the Farina from the succulent leaves thinking that it is some kind of fungus or mold. Now remember, once the Farina is lost from the succulent leaves, it is not going to come back on the leaves again. Once lost, it's completely lost. Now guys, apart from making the succulent look beautiful, the main purpose of Farina is to provide a natural layer of protection for the succulent. Removing it can expose the plant to dangers that it would otherwise be able to tolerate. Now you will have to take extra care of the succulent during summers. Now succulents with damaged Farina are also at a high risk of fungal infections and insect infestations. Now here is a picture of Echeveria mindro. As you can see that uh, the succulent is a very beautiful succulent. Also you can see that uh, the farina is present on the upper part of the succulent. But if you look closely the lower part of the succulent the farina is missing. Now this has happened because of potting and repotting and during the transportation the delicate farina has been disturbed and is lost. Now guys, if you look closely, you can see that there are a lot of burn marks on the lower leaves, but there are no burn marks on the upper part of the succulent where the farina is present. So now you will be able to understand why farina is so important. The upper part of the succulent is completely saved because of this farina as compared to the lower leaves. So we get to know that uh, Farina also acts like a sunscreen lotion. Now when we go to the beach in order to save ourselves from the harmful sun rays or to save ourselves from getting tanned, we tend to use sunscreen lotion. So Farina here acts exactly like a sunscreen lotion. Now guys, you have to be extremely careful while handling succulents that are covered in Farina because it's very easy to wipe it away. Now for example, the touch of my finger exposed the plant to my skin oils which removed the coating. Some pesticides, fungicides can also harm the farina so you have to be very careful. Especially oil based products in particular, particular can remove the farina so you have to be very very careful. Now guys, apart from making the succulent look beautiful and acting like a sunscreen lotion, farina also is waterproof which means that it repels water which can help prevent the plant from absorbing too much of water when the water comes in contact with the farina on the leaves it simply forms water beads on the surface of the leaves as you can see in this picture so guys now that brings us to the next question is how are we going to clean the dust or dirt that is present on succulents that have farina so for that guys, you'll have to use a makeup brush that has very soft bristles and you'll have to gently clean the leaves that have farina. Now not only for succulents that have farina, but even in general when you're doing a cleaning of uh, the succulents, especially when you pot or repot your succulents, there is dirt that falls in between the leaves. So you can use these soft bristled makeup brushes to clean the dirt and this is the effective and the safest way to do so. Now guys, the next are few pictures of succulents that have farina. Now you might be tempted to touch the farina, but please avoid doing so because there is a reason why the succulents have farina. 
Now this farina is going to protect your succulent and I'll tell you that almost 90 to 95 percent of your succulent related problems will be solved if the farina is not disturbed. So guys, I hope that this video was very helpful to you. If it was, then please consider subscribing to my channel. Until then, take care, stay safe, bye-bye.